Michael's emailed in saying, Michelle, I have every respect for the Queen and her commitment to her role. However, and I think this is an interesting question, if you were starting afresh today and building a brand new country, say with a few million other people, would you say that one of those families there should basically declare themselves the monarchy? Uh, Prime Minister is elected. Is there any need uh, for a president as a head of state? Who should be the head of state? What is the future for the royals? It's a good question, but we've been asking ourselves that question for decades and generations, haven't we? I think the future for the royals, um, they'll survive, I would guess, but it doesn't look that good for them, mainly because... Charles, I don't think, is that popular, but also the younger royals are embracing identity politics and, and taking on responsibility for global slavery. You know, Prince William is saying sorry for global slavery. And, and it seems to be that they are alienating the people who love them mm. and would love them anyway. And they're trying to kind of tease into the, you know, in, 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 try and appeal to wokery. people, wokery, <laughs> and people who would o ordinarily hate them. And what they're, what they're doing is just appealing to nobody. Um, you, you, you know, uh, with uh, Prince Andrew as well, and, and not to mention Harry and Meghan Markle, it really doesn't look good for them. It, it reminds me of the Diana years of, of, of the 80s and, and how they just seem to be completely and utterly out of touch. And I think now they're trying to be in touch and actually that's the problem. Mm, trying to be in touch with too many people. Uh, Dominique? Yeah, I, I have to agree. And I hate speaking badly about the royal family because I think the Queen is absolutely amazing. I think yeah. most people agree with that. However, at the moment, I agree. Charles isn't exactly very popular. I myself have been quite uncomfortable with comments um, he made at COP26 where he said, you know, we need to go on a military-like footing to tackle climate change. And around that debate it has been things about, you know, changing the way we drive, changing the way we heat our homes, changing how much meat we eat, for example. You know, and is Prince Charles really going to go on that military-like footing like the rest of us? I really do doubt it. And I think that rubbed a lot of people up the wrong way. With Prince Andrew, you know, him settling a dispute for sexual assault and he was best friends with a paedophile, mm. that doesn't look good. And for him to be there, it seems as though he's just being accepted back into the fold with no real repercussions for his own behaviour. Um, and then with, you know, Prince William and Kate, I think that they can potentially be the saving grace of the royal family because people genuinely do love them. I think the way they were treated in the Caribbean um, was unfortunate, although I don't think Prince William should have personally apologised. I think that it was mature and statesmanlike for him to address the concerns that were clearly there. Um, however, at the same time, I agree with you, if they do want to remain relevant with the people that love them dearly and will, you know, go all out for the monarchy, I think they need to stick to the roots stop the, you know, the, the woke talking points about climate change and things like that. And I just think they should stick to what they know and just keep out of politics. Really. Hey, but will they there, Joe? Will they keep out of stuff? Well, Prince Charles has always been a very keen environmentalist. Yeah. And actually, you know, to be fair, he's put into practice in a lot of um, his own farming and his own lifestyle and his architectural interests, everything that he's been talking about long before it was woke yeah. um, to talk about the environment. I think it's difficult when you're, what is he, 74, 75, and you haven't really had a clear role and you've got a mum who's still going on, and yet she has made it clear recently that she expects him to succeed her and she expects Camilla to be Queen Consort. And I think it's only at that time that Prince Charles will probably sit down with William and say, OK, how are we going to play this? I mean, it's quite clear that the tour in the Caribbean was based on the formula that last existed, you know, 40 years ago, put them in the back of a Land Rover, um, let them meet grateful natives and all that sort of appalling attitude, which isn't to deflect from the fact that actually, you know, lots of people are really pleased to see them and they do do some good. But the whole, there needs to be a rethink. It's like, a, you know, they're referred to as the firm. They refer to themselves as the firm. They need to be rebranded slightly if they're going to exist. And as for Harry, I think he will regret for his dying days to not be there today.